to the women in the village and the men in the village, they know a lot more. I've learned an enormous amount going and sitting with them, discussing what they want, and they've told me a lot more about life than a lot of books have. So, intellect helps. And you'll see that I put intellect only just above luck. As a professor, that was hard. <laughs> but I can assure you, if we cannot imagine this world, we cannot create it. And my request is, let us not go back to the old and the easy ways of the past. Let us focus on entrepreneurship, innovation, on defined inclusion in a more precise and a sensible fashion by creating enough opportunities for all, not by degrading them by providing subsidies. I think it is degrading for human beings to be given the dole. So thank you very much for your patience. I have overstayed my welcome. I'm sure you'll agree this, this is truly a, a memorable and inspiring presentation and many of us it will really change the way we look at uh, uh, the problems that this country faces. Uh, Dr. Pranad has kindly agreed to field a few questions, so may I invite you to ask very, very brief questions. Please identify yourself and make your questions as brief as possible. Thank you very much, sir. I'm Mukesh Anand, Chairman of Healing Touch. I'd like to take a suggestion from you regarding this Chula. Now, one way to expand this network is community kitchens, community washing machines, and community computer shops. We need a backup from you on how to go about it, and we'll spread it all over the country. Uh, my suggestion is don't do anything community. <laughs> I tell you why. We have spent hours and hours of research, actually probably 300 hours of videotapes talking to people. People may be poor, but they don't want their neighbors to know what they feed their children. They have pride. And therefore, even if they have nothing much to eat, they want to keep it to themselves in the family. And we tried very hard. In some parts of India, you can have community kitchens, only for some things. In Punjab, you can have a community kitchen for making rotis and naans because it's a scale economy. In Maharashtra, in some parts, they are willing to sit together to cook, but individually. And it's very interesting for me. You go to the south, there is no way you're going to sell a community kitchen. So one of the things that may be interesting is community electricity, community kitchen, community everything is very fashionable these days. But it may work in some parts of India, it won't work in others. Uh, the best thing is to ask them, if we had a community store, would you use it? We did. Uh, because we started with three ideas. Inside the hut, outside the hut, and away from the hut. Three different energy uses, different kinds of energy requirements. Outside the hut, where they have a daba, they are willing to be community. Inside the hut, which is their home, they are not. Uh, so my suggestion is, Maybe in some parts of India it will work, uh, but at least in two states where this is being piloted, I don't think it will work because we, we checked. Because that's the instinct, is it not? The first thing is we can get everybody involved immediately. I said, maybe not. Uh, give them the choice of, how many of us would like to have a community kitchen? <laughs> anybody, any, anybody here for community kitchens? Even in joint families, that is becoming a problem. <laughs> People have different tastes, don't they? So if I'm poor, why can't I have a different taste? So I think my, my suggestion is go back to the village and ask them. Any other questions? 
Yes. Thank you. Oh, there's one here. Vasan <coughs> Sathya. When we talk of commercializing democracy or democratizing democracy, and particularly in the rural area, one of the biggest problems of helping the farmers has been they are not getting proper price for their product. And grains, or they produce middleman against the rest of it. Now, is there any way of helping the farmer directly to have value-added production of his own product, which will go to the market through what you call commercial? So, can something be done in that? Yeah, I think both the examples I gave you, AMUL and ITC, are examples of getting better value for the farmers for what they produce. Amul increases the value of uh, milk that they produce. And actually, it was a brilliant idea from uh, Sardar Vallabhai Patel. It is not new. He said Polson was really pushing them hard and not giving them enough value for the milk. And it was Sardar's idea to say, you organize yourself, you create uh, your own uh, milk processing facilities, you'll get better value. So creating that cooperative was a big opportunity. ITC is doing exactly that. So EID Paris is doing exactly that. Today you can go to Jaipur Rugs, which takes village distributed villagers, makes rugs, and builds global markets for them. So there are examples in India of having done it, uh, creating opportunities for poor people. The farmer in ITC Chopal gets 8% more for exactly the same thing he used to produce. Now more interesting, he has a regular market as well. He is not beholden to the middleman. And now ITC is giving them information on what grades of soybean or wheat you should produce. So he can, for the same acreage, he can increase it to 25 to 30 percent and have a steady market. So it is possible to do. I'm Anjali Jaipuria, standing here. Yeah. It was the most invigorating speech and um, it has really tickled our imagination. I'm an educationist. And uh, the problem of education in India really causes sleepless nights to many of us educationists. Is there some manner in which we can bring about this micro-consumer business? Because if nobody has funds to be able to educate all of India. Yet if we could think about them as micro-consumers and yet be able to give education in the villages, We'd love to have some kind of a case study if you do have already, Professor. Yeah, I think uh, there's a lot that's happening in education in India, which is fascinating. A lot more experimentation than is obvious. Let me just give you a simple statistic. 